Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of fossil hunting. Today is a very perfect day to go search for fossils because last night it felt a little bit of rain so the rocks are very clean, dust free so let's hope we can find something amazing for you guys to see today. Let's go! Well, I know that be behind this bush over here there is some exposed bedrock and I think this is a path made by some sheep. So let's see where, woo, where I'm going. Oh, water flows through here. So, and this, there is some rocks over here that looks okay to me so let's see where this path may lead let's go i know that some of you guys like to see where i'm going and so on but i don't want to for you guys to get bored so i'm going to cut this part take a good look at this guys this looks like a uh, man-made road but it's not it's just the natural bedrock that is over here and I call this rock tricky rock because if you are a guy that likes gastropods and and some shells you may be uh, fool to to um, to think that these round shapes could be a gastropod that is in inside the matrix but take a look this all oh, this rock over here looks like it it has made of bubbles it has some pretty round shapes but it's all natural it's not anything uh, fossil related well so far uh, that they, they could be one or two in there I don't know but what what I do know it's uh, you you look at this and you think oh that's a, a gastropod or a shell but it's not it's not okay let's continue this is very beautiful mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what's this Nothing. Nothing. Okay. What's this over here? Well, so far, zip. Nothing. But... I think I'm getting closer. I don't know why, but these rocks all look very familiar to me <laughs> take a good look <laughs> what do you think was in here well for the looks of it it looks to me like a trigornia species or something like that but if there is one there is more for sure friends who like minerals take a good look at this one it was just like that when I found it there is the other bit there I'm not sure if I'm going to pull it out let me see oh take a look the other bit is uh, over there so pretty neat red and white well let's go hello guys I am in this situation because I see this road over here and I can help myself to investigate a little bit more 
down below. So I spot this round shape over here that didn't belong, but it's nothing, it's just a large pebble. Uh, but uh, there is some pretty interesting stuff around here. Take a look at this for example. Maybe it's from mineral source, but it's pretty wavy. I spot over here, uh, or you can see that on the previous videos, I have spotted here um, rudists uh, because they put some large ch chunk of of this material and it's full of rudists everywhere if you pay attention take a look there is a piece over here uh, they are not very pretty fossils but the the person who baptized them them they say oh that's rude rude rudist <laughs> That's a rude shape. It's a rudist. Uh, well, the first time that I, s I spotted, I, I I think, well, this could be a a tooth, a tooth of a dinosaur or something. But no, it's just a coral. Take a look at these ones over here. These ones you can see. This, I don't know, the correct scientific term, but it's still has something attached to this and I don't know I believe in English it's horn coral uh, rudist I don't know what is the difference but well over here that's there's plenty of that some of them whoa some of them have pretty cool shapes but this ones I am going to leave it here because I have enough already at my at my place so it's just a curious fact for you guys to see it so let's go well. oh take a look at this one over here this is a perfect example of a rudist very good definition it's pity it's still inside of the matrix but very cool very cool and there is some examples over here also oh these ones have the top still intact pretty cool pretty neat but as you probably know I'm not going to take this rock with me so let's go na, 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 na. Na, na, na. I shouldn't come to this last time that I was here in in these slopes I found a gastropod so uh, with that in mind every time I see something round I thought could this be a gastropod well I spotted another one round shape but mm, I'm not sure I'm not sure of course it's not ah, okay well this is just for you guys to see that it's not easy to find uh, some some certain species of fossils uh, you only see in the videos a brief moment when I discover them but it takes hours and hours and hours in the middle of this bush in the middle of of in the in the field but okay let's go well this is central route is calling <laughs> another one pretty neat but still incomplete <laughs> well I make a rhyme Well, um, I spot this over here and I'm wondering, well, I don't know if I'm going to dig. This is round, but this could not be a gastropod. But then I look carefully 
at this rock over here and I don't know if you guys can see it but take a look very small very small enclosures of something pointing I don't know what is this could this be traces of a urchin or something I'm going to zoom it again it's very weird let me see if I can take this out okay well I don't know if this is spokes from an urchin or it's some sort of piece of, of a shell of a bivalve this other one over here looks like a piece of shell but this one over here well it's a piece of shell all right okay now zoom camera okay this one over here well I am keeping my hopes down because you know I'm a pessimist but let me see oh this doesn't look like all right okay no big astropod well just one thing left to do keep on digging <laughs> guys I think I'm getting closer take a look take a look at this rock over here this is a gastropod uh, and a large one but it's cut I don't know not in half but about a third take a look you can see the shell over there mm. pretty neat but it's a shame you can see the spiral some inner chambers over there <laughs> but this one okay let me see if I'm wrong all right <laughs> I'm right but again this one is a bit deformed You can see the spirals one two three the other one must be missing some part of the shell over here this must be the the little guys that formed the internal mold I don't believe this oh oh my god my camera zoom please can see this little stuff around here I don't believe this is what the what the gastropod eat this must be some some sort of mold that was attached that that filled the the shell when the the organism died so pretty neat there's some shell around here but no I'm not going to take this one with me but again it's a pretty good indicator this one was in here that I am in the uh, in the right path guys I think I found something over here take a look at this this looks like a rugose coral or something like that and it's huge take a look well I'm not sure if I'm going to take this one with me because it's too heavy and large well I will see about that but not sure Whew. this one must uh, must weight five kilos or something mm. okay okay guys I think today it's about it uh, don't forget to like the video if you like the video today was a bit lame but maybe next time I will find something interesting so see you soon bye